it goes far enough, as the coalition has stated. Uh, but that, that negotiation, being able to sit at the table, was really critical and important. But then also that we all are looking at alternative ways of maybe looking at how we can make sure that permanency is something that happens with our gardens. Let me just add a little bit of background and, and understanding and context to the importance of these community gardens. Particularly in my district, in which I have so many, and since my first year in office, I have worked very diligently, and I can safely say that we have permanently safeguarded five to seven gardens from development in East Harlem. Uh, based on negotiation, yeah. all of that to say that I really, all of that to say that I really believe in them. But in communities like mine, there has been serious disinvestment historically in communities like East Harlem, and it has been the community members that have reclaimed these vacant lots, yep. that have reclaimed these vacant spaces to afford places of reprieve, to open, to provide open space to communities that have been neglected. So the historic significance of these community gardens goes way beyond the vegetables and the, and the plants that are grown, which is obviously are important, but it really is about reclaiming space and providing and doing for yourself in a way that the city has not uh, for communities like mine. So I believe that we really need to work in collaboration to ensure that we safeguard these gardens and continue to provide the, the open space that it does. And that it obviously goes along the lines of the mayor's plan YC. And that there is no disconnect. It's very much integrated and connected. And the 